So here's our next example. Um, we have x cubed on top. We've got two linear factors on the bottom. Now, this should be relatively straightforward. We've just got two linear factors. So we expect two terms in the partial fraction decomposition. There's no repeated roots or anything like that we have to worry about. There is one catch, however, which is partial fraction decomposition only works if the degree of the numerator is less than that of the denominator. We've got a cubic over a quadratic. So before we begin, we have to do long division. Okay, so what we do is we say, okay, if we multiply that all out, that's x squared minus 2x minus 15. We want to divide into x cubed. So we need to multiply by x. We get x squared, or sorry, x, oh, sorry, 2x, I lost my x. So x times x squared gives me x cubed. x times minus 2x minus 2x squared minus 15x. And we have to subtract, right? So we subtract. We get 2x squared plus 15x. Quadratic, still quadratic. We can go in one more time. x squared times 2 gives me 2x squared. So I get 2x squared minus 4x minus 30. We divide one, subtract one more time. All right, um, 15 minus minus 4, we get 19x minus minus 30, min 19x plus 30. Okay, so we do have to do that initial rewriting. There's our remainder, 19x plus 30. Here's our dividend, so we get that this is equal to x plus 2 plus 19x plus 30 over x minus 5 times x plus 3. All right. This part's easy enough. We got to do partial fractions over here, right? So now we say, okay, we need to have 19x plus 30 over x minus 5 times x plus 3. We want that to be a over x minus 5, b over x plus 3. <coughs> Okay, so now we just have to solve for a and b. So if I multiply by x minus 5 on both sides, I'm going to get 19x plus 30 over x plus 3 equals a plus b times x minus 5 over x plus 3. And putting x equal to 5 is going to give me, OK, so I've got to do 5 times 19. 95 plus 30, 125. 125 over 8 equals a. Not so bad. If I multiply by, by x plus 3, what am I going to get? I'm going to get 19x plus 30 over x minus 5 is equal to a times x plus 3 over x minus 5 oops, plus B. And if I put x equal to minus 3, what do I get? So 19 times 3, 57. I get minus 27 over um, minus 8. Right, minus 3 minus 5. Yeah, minus 27 over minus 8 equals B. 
Ah, not so bad. Okay, I mean the numbers are a bit bigger this time, but it's it's all right. Interesting that everything is actually a cube here, right? Two cubed, three cubed, five cubed. I think there's any significance in that. It's just how it turned out. So we have x plus two plus 125 over eight times one over x minus five plus 27 over eight times one over x plus three. Okay, and now all that's left to do is integrate. x squared over two plus two x plus 125 over eight times the natural log of x minus five plus 27 over 8 times the natural log of x plus 3. And as always, don't forget your constant.